Each year over the past three years, JW Boot Company has made an improvement to their boots in some way. But this year, they are trying to make a massive leap forward with their new signature line. Today, I'm going to be doing an extended test on these new signature line boots, and we can see the differences between these ones and the JW boots of years past. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya. Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and always like and comment down below. I love seeing your guys' thoughts about the boots that I cover here on this channel week in and week out. I've been reviewing JW Boot Company boots for the past three years, about one video a year, and every time I do it, JW Boot Company makes their boots just a little bit better. But this time, Blake has gone out of his way, and I'm talking about owner Blake Baker, to seriously step up his game with a signature line. And this one is built completely different from the other JW Boot Company boots of old. So I'm really looking forward to breaking down the details of this boot. And you know where we start, always with the rundown. All right, this is a JW Boot Company signature line boot named the Ithaca, and that's after Odysseus's home island in Homer's epic adventure tale, The Odyssey. So you know JW Boot Company is looking for adventure with this new boot. Also, I happen to live in Ithaca, New York, so these are gonna take its first step in a town named Ithaca too, which is kinda cool. This Ithaca boot features a calfskin on the foot and the top. It's a beautiful leather, and its color is described as brandy. This boot also features what JW Boot Company is calling an oval toe, but it looks kind of like a medium round toe or an R toe. It's also coming in at 13 inches tall, but just look at the hourglass shape of that heel. It's a beautiful shape with a epic silhouette. <laughs> just looks amazing. Down here for a heel, we have a leather stacked heel of about one and three eighths inches. So it's a little shorter, which is gonna make this a really nice dress boot for walking. Down here for an outsole, it is a leather outsole, and that's on there with a Goodyear welt with a traditional channeled construction. So this is a traditionally made boot, which makes this a little different from some of the older JW Boot Company boots. And you can also see lemon wood pegs there alongside that shank. Just a beautiful construction. On the inside, we have a leather lining all the way through. And for an insole, it is a traditional hard leather insole. And I love to see that this is another thing that's a little different from the JW Boot Company boots of old. These hard leather insoles will shape to your foot as you wear this boot over the months and the years. And there will seriously be no other feeling like it. JW Boot Company's signature line boots are made in Mexico and they're coming in at $645, but there's a pre-order discount of $50 and you can save an extra 10% on that with code JC10 at checkout, which brings this price down to $535. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got on those JW Boot Company signature line boots. This is the Ithaca and man, it feels incredible. One of my biggest complaints and just sort of disappointments about JW Boot Company boots of old is that they didn't have bewits or they couldn't do it. No matter how much they tried, they just never were able to get my fit right since I am a true 12B. But with these new signature line boots, they are able to do B widths, but they're also able to do D widths, single E widths, and double E widths. So four <laughs> widths, guys, which is crazy and super valuable to those of you out there who are looking for different widths. Not very many people even carry single E widths, but it's a huge value here for JW Boot Company to do it, especially in this kind of boot. And just look at that hourglass shape there too. You know, that's something that a lot of the most legendary custom boot makers talk about is having a heel that sort of juts out there. They want their boots to look like a beautiful, 
female body if possible and it looks really great. That can make the boots kind of difficult to put on and take off. You might need to use a boot jack. Uh oh. Almost lost the picture behind me. You might need to use a boot jack like this foldable one that I have on my store to take them off. Uh, but once they are on, they feel incredible. I love the fit of this boot. I have the proper amount of heel slip in there. That calf skin feels really nice and supple. Jeez, it looks great. Let me pull over these jeans so you can see what they would look like just wearing them normal. Oh man, I love this look and the fact that the tops are proportional to the fit of the boot. You know, they're not too wide, which can make it look a little silly underneath jeans, but this is a beautiful looking boot. Let me give you the POV. All right, here's that POV. Gotta love it. That medium round toe or oval toe is what they're calling it. Looks great. And of course it might look a little bit more sharp, a little bit more narrow rounded than some other R toes, but that's just because this is a narrow fit, right? So it might look a little bit awkward, but that's just my foot. That's just the narrow foot. So far, I'm loving the look of these and how they feel. But let's spend a day in them and see what happens. Extended test time. All right, so today is my first day at Well Said Media. I'm going to be a production and content strategist. I've done a lot of content strategy, but never production. Well, at least not outside of YouTube. So I know a lot of producers will be like, well, YouTube isn't real production. Well, that's why I want to work for a video production company here in Ithaca, New York. It's my first day, really looking forward to it. So let's see what it's all about. Upon my arrival at the studio, I helped the videographers pack up for a shoot with a longtime client of Well Said Media, and we headed over to their offices. My responsibilities on shoots like these as a part-time producer and content strategist will be to help set up and tear down equipment, ask questions during interviews, and communicate with clients. I also help the videographers get the shots and angles they need, even when it's an inch to the left and an inch to the right. Then it's lights, cameras, and action. This was an interview where we captured content for an organization's anniversary event, where they'll show this video to help celebrate their accomplishments and raise more funds for their work. After all the interviews were complete, it was time to pack up and head back to the Well Said Media Studio, where I checked out more of the green screen room and their recording studio, equipped with great gear and a sound isolation booth for vocals. Part of the deal with me working here part-time is that I will have access to these areas after hours, and I look forward to using it to making my content better here on YouTube. Good first day at Well Said Media. I am really excited about this. It's going to really expand what I can do here on YouTube, on this channel, and it's really going to expand what I can just do in general. Whether it be, you know, thinking about content, interviews today was just interview content and a lot of it you know i had a lot of familiarity with what i already do with interviews so there's going to be a lot of crossover with what i do already but i'm also going to be able to learn a lot more and the content that i'm going to be able to produce by using that studio and that green screen room i think it's going to be epic and i can't wait to bring you along for the ride <laughs> while I'm at Well Said Media. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's been a few weeks since my first day over there at Well Said Media and things are going awesome. I'm still learning a lot and I'm looking forward to testing the green screen room and the recording studio for use here on my own YouTube channel. Now it's time to break down my final thoughts about this JW Boot Company signature line boot, the Ithaca. JW Boot Company, finally did it. This boot is awesome. 
and it's very well made plus it fits great thanks to the four different width sizes that they have the calf skin is really supple nice to break in the heel is a little bit lower which makes it comfortable for all day wear and a lot of walking and the silhouette is beautiful i can't get enough of this heel counter hourglass shape up to the tops here looks so good this hourglass shape does come with a slight downside, however, because it makes the opening of this boot a little bit more narrow and it's tough to get your foot into, at least it was for me. And if you have high insteps, you're gonna really have a hard time getting your foot in and out of this boot when you first start wearing it. It does break in and it became easier and easier to get my foot in and out of this boot, but when you first get them, you might have to use all of your weight and stand into the boot to get them on instead of trying to pull on your boots like this you put them on the ground and then step into them using your entire weight and gravity to get your foot in this boot and then once you do get them in there the fit is awesome but because of this hourglass shape it does just take a little bit extra oomph to get your foot inside and there still is a good amount of heel slip in here so it's not too much but it's not too little where you're gonna get blisters as well if you were concerned about that. So to mention a little bit about sizing with this boot, the B-width felt pretty true to size, maybe just a tad wider than some other B-widths on the marketplace, but it does also have a more narrow opening that wouldn't be friendly to higher insteps. The leather outsole of this boot is kind of hard to break in as well. It's really durable. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a 10 to an 11 iron leather outsole. It reminds me of trying to break in a pair of blackjack boots. Those are some of the thickest and toughest leather outsoles that I've ever broken in. And these are very similar to that. So it's going to take a little bit extra time for these leather outsoles to break in, but once they do, it's gonna feel incredible. So to compare the new JW Boot Company line to other brands in the marketplace, for US made brands, I'd have to say that this definitely does compare to the quality of Blackjack. It feels great. The leather outsole is really tough to break in, like Blackjack's, but since this one is made in Mexico, for made in Mexico brands, I'd have to say that this compares quite a bit to the Heritage Boot Company boots. It feels very similar, traditionally made, feels great, and I really think that JW Boot Company hit the nail on the head with this boot. This is everything that I look for when I'm looking for a pair of boots, and this is a contender for one of my favorites this year. They still are in pre-order right now, so if you head on over to JW Boot Company's website, you can put in your pre-order. I've put the link in the description and also in the pinned comment below. And don't forget to use my code JC10 to save 10% on yours if you do decide to go this route. I wanna know what you think of JW Boot Company's new signature line boots. This is the Ithaca, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way through. Love you guys so much. Please subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Peace. JW Boots and their signature line So well built and looking so fine yeah. Why don't you check out the other line that they have It's Scambia Boot Company up here Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe over here And I will see you next time Thank you so much for watching Peace, have a good one